is an unspoiled network podcast. This is unspoiled covering nothing. <laughs> we won't be covering an episode today. You will find out why very shortly. Apologies to everyone, but patience, patience, my friends. I'm sorry. Blame Amazon. Welcome to Not Unspoiled. <laughs> Welcome to the non-show, everybody. I am oh, Natasha. Man. I'm Jamie. <laughs> so I am really, really glad that we figured this out before I did the intro for Bells of St. John. And you went, wait, what? Because, guys, I watched the wrong episode because apparently HBO has a whole different way of displaying these episodes and thus, Jamie forgot that I don't watch it on HBO and that she needed to warn me because Amazon just has a whole other playlist with just Christmas episodes. It really doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And thus, I did not watch the Snowmen episode, which was what we were supposed to record today, evidently. Yeah. That's so, the next episode of the series. You know... This is why it's really stupid the way that Amazon lays things out. Like, not only were they getting the wrong numbering, which was an issue for a mm -hmm. long time, but then taking all of the Christmas specials and making a whole playlist that's just Christmas specials, I completely forgot that they did that because I have since switched over to HBO Max where they do it the way it's supposed to be in the order that they aired. Mm-hmm. So I just went on to The Snowman and I was watching it and thinking, oh, this is so much better than I remembered it being. And I was so excited to talk about it with you. And then I mentioned the title and Natasha's like, what? What are you talking about? I got very confused, you guys, because honestly, Angels Take Manhattan feels like an end of series. That feels like the, the season finale. So it isn't so out of the realm of things that, you know, I... I would have been like, oh, okay, if I knew. But, and, and we start, like, Bells of St. John, spoiler alert, we have a, compa a new companion, it seems to me. Uh, not totally confirmed. She hasn't, like, signed on, but I think it will happen. So that feels like the beginning of a new season. And I was very confused. And now it all makes sense that there was, like, this break that then had the Christmas special in the middle of the season instead of at the end of it, the way that has happened mm -hmm. up until now. It's the first time that there were actually two Christmas specials in one season because the season started, season seven started with a Christmas special. Mm -hmm. And then we get the five episodes with Amy and Rory. And then there was a gap of time. And then there was a Christmas special and then another small gap. And then the second half of season seven. Which was more than half, because there's 13 episodes total, so it's like seven... Wait, I can't do math. Yeah, like seven <laughs> episodes uh, with a new companion. But there's like there's stuff leading into that that you get from the Christmas special. And I can't believe I didn't... I, why would it occur to me? Honestly, as much as I'm blaming Amazon, and they deserve it, I also really feel like this is very confusing on the show's part to have two Christmas specials this close together. Yeah. It's just, it, it's weird. So I thought you were going to say, aside from blaming Amazon, I do blame you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like bracing myself to be like, oh God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No. Um, I, I just like the, the setup of it has been so consistent and to break form that much here is sort yeah. of an odd move. And like, is that considered part of season seven officially then? Yes. I'm pulling so it up right So that's going to throw off our episode number count even more going forward. Yes. Cool. Um, hold on. I'm pulling up how it's listed in season seven. So it starts with the doctor, the widow, and the wardrobe. Then we've got Asylum of the, Asylum of the Daleks. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, Town Called Mercy, Power of Three, The Angels Take Manhattan, 
and then The Snowman, which aired on Christmas Day in 2012. So well, Angels that's Take Manhattan. Good. Angels Take Manhattan was September 29th, 2012. The Snowman was on Christmas. And then The Bells of St. John was March 30th. So there was three months in between both. So three month gap, Snowman, three month gap. And I don't know why they did it that way. Um, I think there was also, let's see, The Doctor, The Widow, and The Wardrobe aired on Christmas in 2011. And oh, and then Asylum of the Daleks didn't, Asylum, Asylum <laughs> of the Daleks didn't air until September 1st. Wow. Okay. So there was a huge, huge gap between like what was the official start of season seven and the Christmas special. And there's always a Christmas special, but I think they're generally considered to be either the beginning or the end of a season. Huh. And okay. Yeah. Somehow in this, the, the timing was just really weird. So I think they didn't want to not have a Christmas special, but the way the air dates panned out for whatever reason, they, decided to like okay well we've got the end of amy and rory so we'll just stop there have a christmas special and then start up the rest of season seven with like a fresh new start hmm it is confusing it's, it's really I don't, confusing so i don't think it ever happens like this again for me on amazon bells of st john is listed as season seven's episode six yeah is it actually episode seven or is it episode eight because Amazon was already wrong? Um, well. What does HBO tell you? I'm going to pull up HBO and tell you what they say. HBO Max. <sighs> Guys, I'm so sorry. Everybody was really looking forward to us talking about this. <laughs> sorry, everybody. But and Jamie says that a lot of you had wanted us to do a live watch because of uh, the return, I guess, of Clara. Well, there's it's I can't really go into it really without spoiling the snowman episode. But ah, there's, okay. There's some there's a, there's something with Clara. Okay. Um. So let's see. On on HBO Max, the Christmas special 2011 is attached to the end of season five. It's considered. Mm -hmm episode 14 of season five and then i mean sorry six, season six. Oh, okay season i was like i lost the thread completely then I okay i got obviously you. did as well um <laughs> <laughs> season seven starts with episode one asylum of the daleks and then this list this is episode six christmas special 2012 okay and then episode seven it lists as the bells of saint john I, I, okay. So episode, se what did you say the Bells of St. John is listed as? Episode seven of season seven. Uh, okay. So we're going to be an episode behind again, which is actually less than I expected to be fair. Um, Are we? Because episode five was the Angels Take Manhattan. That's the way we've been saying it. Right. So, so episode six is the Christmas special, the snowman. I would... I would cons I would say that we should be able to put it as season seven, episode six, the snowman. And we stay in line with at least the way it is on HBO. I've been going and according to Amazon and I'm going to keep doing that because I don't want to okay. confuse people. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody, if that is co more confusing to you. But I just like, for me, I know this will, if I start changing how it reads for what, from what I see, I will fuck myself up again later. Something how will happen. How does it? How does it list Bells of St. John? What does it say? Season 7, Episode 6. Oh. So, <sighs> yeah. So we have to, so we'll have to list this as just Christmas special. Yes. And I will have to remind myself every week to put the right episode number so that you don't get confused when you go to look for my file. Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And this will all be remedied if HBO can just make a fucking deal with Roku. It would be great if they could just do that already. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But I can't watch HBO Max on my Roku. And so I remain using Amazon Prime because I bought this season on Amazon Prime already. And so. you don't have a Apple TV? No. Mm. So, 
Yeah, so that's where we are, folks. So that's what happened. And we can't talk about The Bells of St. John because I haven't rewatched it recently, so I don't remember the details well enough to be a good co-host. And I feel bad because I I think people were like excited for me to find out that Clara was going to be back. Mm-hmm. And that's been low key. That was spoiled before this, though. Just was FYI, it? because it her, her image is on the next episode thumbnail. Oh, so last week I saw her image on the thumbnail and was like, "Oh, that girl's coming back." Okay, and I knew that already. So and you can also was, blame Amazon again. <laughs> here I was like upset that I sent you the links to those shorts and you could see. Vastra and Jenny and I was like oh fuck now she's gonna be spoiled to them and it doesn't even matter because you were like what the fuck is this it's so weird yeah <laughs> guys what I just watched Jamie was like these uh <laughs> these shorts take place before the episode but don't watch them until after and I was like okay and so I watched Bells of St. John and then watched the shorts and I was like I don't get it what <laughs> is going on the whole reason I wanted you to watch them after, even though they aired before, because they actually did air before the episode, before the snowmen, mm-hmm. was because one of them, as you now have seen, has an intro from Matt Smith and Jenna Coleman. And I didn't want her to be spoiled for you before you watched the snowmen, and it didn't matter. None of it mattered. Because None of it watched, mattered. You watched Bell's St. John. So, yes, Clara. There's a question about Clara. And now we have to, you have to back up and watch the snowmen. Sorry, everyone. But it happens. And like I said, blame these media conglomerates who cannot get their shit together. Uh, I don't know what Amazon's deal is, though. It really is completely their fault. What purpose is it? I don't know why. Like, Amazon. Look, we know they're the devil. Don't (laughs) lecture me, everybody I know. But, like, I have to do what I have to do in order to make the show work. So forgive me. Um. But Amazon does this. This isn't the only show that they've made weird choices like that. No, with. they did this with Battlestar Galactica. Did they? Yeah, they list the miniseries of Battlestar Galactica as its own thing, miniseries. So if somebody has never watched Battlestar and they pull it up and they start with episode one, they've missed the entire miniseries and have no idea what's going on. Because huh. it starts with that episode called 33, where they're running from the Cylons. And they're, the Cylons are finding them every 33 minutes. Like, it's not going to make any sense. And when Jason and I decided to rewatch Battlestar Galactica, I pulled it up and I was like, where the fuck is the miniseries? This isn't the first episode. And I knew that. But some people might not. And that's stupid. It, that's really stupid. Like, I don't, I don't, whatever. Whatever. You know what? They're stupid. They, I, this is another thing that I found weird was covering, um, avatar the last airbender and like again it sort of has to do with how they were aired but avatar the last airbender there were a lot of episodes that were aired together and so amazon has put them together as one episode even though it's double the the runtime and even though there is a break in the middle with a title card that tells you the title of the new episode they're only listed as one episode. Why would you why would you do that? That's not helpful. That's, you know, and so Owen and I really got a little bit irate about that when we were covering those for the wedding show. So when you were covering that it wasn't yet on Netflix? No, it wasn't. Not yet. Oh, god, why why Amazon? Yep. Why? I actually very rarely tweet at celebrities or at companies because I am just another voice that's getting lost in the millions of voices that they're hearing. But I did tweet at Amazon Prime about the way that they laid out Doctor Who. I probably should too. And I specifically, I think, asked, like, why are the Christmas specials listed as something separate? These are part of the seasons. It's very confusing. Yeah, I probably should because, like, now that this has happened, that's officially made it so that we can't record today. Mm -hmm. Um, And normally, guys, I would be able to, like, reschedule with Jamie to record at another point this week and be able to make it up. But Rashawn had to cancel a recording on Monday because she had a migraine. And so we are already making up an episode this week. So I don't have another slot. So we're just going to be without an episode because Amazon sucks. So, 
you know, everybody, if you feel like uh, finding my tweet at Amazon about this and yelling at them also and being like, you ruined my favorite show this week. Thanks for nothing. It's a pandemic and I have nothing to look forward to except for Unspoiled. (laughs) I will be very supportive of you doing that. My tweet to them was, is there a reason you separate out the Doctor Who specials from the regular seasons and then don't list the specials with the seasons? It's really ineffective when someone is watching for the first time and finds out they've missed quite a few episodes. They ever reply? No. Yeah, of course they fucking didn't. Cowards. Yeah. Well, I like that I said cowards, and in the background somebody is revving a chainsaw, and it really like gave that a sort of extra (laughs) oomph. (laughs) (laughs) I wish I'd heard it. Um. All right. Well, so I I I'm sorry, guys, that uh, I. I'm not able to give you the excitement that you wanted this week. Maybe I won't be able to give you the excitement that you wanted at all, but that may not be true because I haven't watched Snowman yet. So perhaps I'll feel differently. Um, and, you know, I, I just, what can I say? We uh, appreciate your patience. Please stand by technical difficulties. Yeah. Very sorry. I found a, uh, a memory on my phone an image that I made. Apparently there was some website where you can like put writing on a gravestone to see how it looks before you purchase the gravestone. And I did one that says here lies Natasha. She died of technical difficulties and (laughs) it's still so relevant. I really should just make that like my banner image on Facebook. (laughs) That should be the image for when you post this episode. (laughs) Oh, that should. That's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, another mystery solved for anybody who's listening to this and going why did she what is this um i love figuring out what image i'm going to use for something in the middle of the recording so that it feels really out of context until you listen to the thing yeah <sighs> all right oh, what a bummer sorry guys we'll get back to the snowmen next week we love you all thank you so much and i'm sorry but we'll see you soon with a new episode (laughs) until then (laughs) toodaloo motherfuckers bye that was an unspoiled network podcast